before I go into the, the RFP process and how that has worked to the benefit of the veterans here. Uh, many times we see across state government how the state contracts out for services. And a lot of times there's a debate about whether something stays in-house or gets contracted out. And to me, that is a philosophical discussion, and it's always good for any agency to weigh the pros and cons of any of that. But too many times we see that when that contract does get, in a sense, contracted out, or the service gets contracted out, the state messes it up badly. I know that's a technical <laughs> term, but it messes up badly. We saw um, a situation with the Department of Now Human Services, Department of Public Welfare, last year it was called the Public Partnership Limited Contract. It basically ended up wasting $17 million for hurting some of our, our most vulnerable Pennsylvanians because of poor contract execution. And I know uh, contract execution is not something that is on Meet the Press all the time. You're certainly not gonna see it on a show like Crossfire. I know they don't technically have Crossfire anymore. Because it's not the most, you know, in a sense, the sexiest thing. But it's how we deliver services to our, to our, to our key Pennsylvania citizens all over the state. So while we have three findings, two of them are some things we, you know, that we want to suggest some cleaning up on. But I want to start with the positive one. And that is, first of all, to thank the Commandant and, and the Director Ruskevich for their tremendous work in helping implement this. Um, the decision by to contract out the physical and occupational and speech therapy services at the Holidays Veterans, Bur Veterans Home increased care for veterans while saving taxpayers nearly $500,000. That's just here at this facility. That's not across the state. That's just here at this facility. So take that out, that could lead to real savings across Pennsylvania while at the same time improving care. Because while this cost less, more care was delivered to our veterans. And you know, we've seen this and this was something that maybe DC should be looking at is how this went about. 